Hello everyone for YouTube. This is CC here and this is my 38 week update. I have a lot to go over. Oh, this thing. I have a lot to go over. So I need to talk fast. <laughs> okay. I just left my doctor's appointment and um, my ultrasound appointment, not my doctor's. And the ultrasound tech told me that my son is 9 pounds and 2 ounces. That has me on panic mode right about now because I don't want to have a C-section. And I don't know too many people that have had 9 pounds babies push them out. So, I'm on operation get this baby out now. <laughs> So, I don't call my doctor about 15 times since from, from there to my house. But he's on lunch break. Now he should be back in a couple of minutes. But, um, I've been calling him because we need to come up with an induction plan. We need to come up with something because if this baby stays in me for another two weeks and becomes more than 9 pounds, 2 ounces, and I have to do a, a C-section, it ain't going to be pretty. So... I need them to come up with some kind of plan, some kind of something, so that I can get this baby out of me. I call other doctors because I have to because I don't want to have my baby at Jackson. But if my doctor schedule an induction by Wednesday, I will be having my baby at Jackson. But I haven't talked to my boyfriend about none of this yet. So mind you, this is not set in stone because he's on break. I mean, he's at work and he didn't get break yet, so we haven't been able to talk about it. So. My plan is right now, I'm going to get our things together, what we need for the hospital. This is my baby bag that I bought. It's just a plain little regular baby bag from Walmart. It goes with the green stroller thing. So, I'm going to get everything that we need now together. And if he doesn't have this baby out of me by Wednesday or Thursday... I don't know what I'm going to do. But, yeah, we need to schedule an induction by Wednesday night. He got to come out of me. Anyway, um, symptoms have been a lot of pelvic pain, as you all know. And I know why they have pelvic pain. Because my son's head is like this big. <laughs> he has a big ass head. And he's just sitting right there on my bone. And I'm scared that... I'm just, I have so much going through my head right now. I just can't even put it all into words what's going through my head right now. Like, I'm afraid to eat because I'm scared if I eat anymore, he's going to gain more weight. And I'm not, I'm going to have to have a C-section. And that's like my bottom fear. Like, I never even thought about C-section. Like, I never even thought about what if a C-section. Like, I, I don't want a C-section. So, I'm going to go take my medical records over to this other doctor office and see if they can induce me because it's so much going through my head. I, I, I'm even contemplating opening up my breast pump and do some breast suckage to get me dilated. Like, I would do anything but walk at this point because it hurts like hell to walk. Like, but... I'm about to start. I'm about to go around my mom's house and go walk because I want this baby out and I want this baby out now. <laughs> if this baby get any bigger, I'm going to have to have a C-section and I really, 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 really do not want a C-section. So, yeah, I'm going to do my baby bag video because I'm going to throw some stuff in this bag. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> I can't even talk right because I'm so gone corner having this baby this week. He's coming out. And I didn't even get to vote. I don't know why I didn't go vote early. Oh, why didn't I go vote early? Because now I'm not even going to be able to vote. Like, hopefully my doctor called me and say yes, we can do it on Wednesday. And then I can go vote tomorrow. And then Wednesday go. And maybe they standing down that long ass line and tomorrow would... Boost me up for labor or something. Hold on, I gotta drink this. My mouth dry. But y'all can see my language is being because I'm frustrated. Y'all have to excuse excuse me because I am like really frustrated. I really, really want him born now because I don't want him to gain no more weight. And I don't want to have a C-section and I don't know too many people that don't had nine pound babies and pushed them out. My daughter was eight pounds and it hurt. So I'm I'm sure any size baby will hurt, but nine pounds, like 
And then it's like I have this thing on the bottom of my stomach that I really want to show y'all. So I need to put on some clothes. But I don't know what I'm put on. But <laughs> I have this thing on the bottom of my stomach. And it's like my stomach is like swollen or something on the bottom of my stomach. I don't know what I'm finna do, y'all. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy, y'all. I'm going crazy. Okay. Think Crystal. Okay. This minute, uh, I'm gonna have to do another video. This is just gonna be an update. I'm gonna do a belly shot. Let me put on some pants real quick. I'm gonna put on this skirt. This dress-like thing. I'm gonna do a belly shot so I can show y'all this thing on the bottom of my stomach. And if I could get my leg in here. Hold on. Oh, and then I'm going to um, do a a baby bag video. And then I'm going to take everything in that bag and take it to my niece's house and wash it. <laughs> I'm only washing it with water. I'm not washing it with anything else because my mama said that it's not good to wash with that stuff. So I'm going to just wash his clothes, like rinse it. I'll do a wash with no dish, do no dishwashing stuff. Not dishwashing. With no um stuff on it so that I can just... Do it like that. Because <laughs> he don't need no stuff. The clothes is new. All I'm doing is washing off fingerprints and stuff like that been in the store. So hold on. Let me put on these, this dress skirt thingy. Let me show y'all my belly. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh God, I hope my cup don't drop. Oh, Lord, it's not for the show, right? Okay, hold on, y'all. I got to go wait over here. And then I don't got no light on, so... Let's hope y'all can see this. Good. My fan in the way. Okay. This is with my shirt on. It's black. Y'all can't see nothing, but this is the stomach. And this side... I'm not going to be able to see nothing because I don't have one black. Okay, that's good. This side. And that side. He is ready to come out, y'all. Okay, this is my stomach. Whew, big baby. You see this down here? Now, I can't really show y'all because it's not really looking like it on there. But it's some, it's like a thing down there, right? Y'all see this? Whew, I can't breathe when I do that, y'all. <laughs> but it's like a piece of... Let me see. Y'all can't see it because my camera ain't gonna let y'all see it. But it, it doesn't hurt anything, but it's just like a swollen meat down there. And it's just... It's, it's never been there before, so now I'm like, why is it there? But... This is my belly stomach. This is my big old 9 pound, 2 ounce baby at 30. I'm out of breath, y'all. <laughs> 30, um, 8 weeks I am today. So, front view, this view, and then that's it. Okay. Yeah, so, we need to. Come, I need to call my boyfriend, come up with a plan, pack his bag, pack our bag, because it's the weekday, so my daughter is going to probably miss some school, because I don't want to leave her with any family members, and I want her to be there to bond with her new brother, so she might miss school to be there for the birth. I came up with that conclusion just now, <laughs> but I want her to be there, I want her to be have a special bond with him, so... We're going to cut this right here because it's nine minutes and I have to get my other video up because I'm going to do it this time for real this time. For real, that's my boyfriend call. So, deuces.